Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here, joined by Splooch as we continue with our second series of Reign of Kings. This is episode 7, ladies and gentlemen, and Splooch is off gathering stone and or iron. We have done quite a bit of work over the last uh, couple hours, and yeah, things are... He put the You put the door in upside down. I'm not sure how that's even well, you possible. Said, you no, said maybe, maybe, no, you didn't. It just looks like it's upside down. That's you said fine. put it there. You didn't say nothing about right side up. <laughs> uh, we don't have our crest yet. We're trying to we're trying to get the really really large crest as our first giant thing that we do. And as it stands right now, well, we don't have it yet. And I'm wondering, yeah, we should. This should be fine. This should be fine. Uh, we're we're still smelting steel, as you guys see. We have a little bit of steel. I still have a little bit of oil left. I did go on another oil run, so uh, just quickly, I got some more flax and whatnot. But not a tremendously huge amount of anything. We have our steel tools, but we don't have any steel armor or weapons or anything of that nature. And I think we're about 40, I want to say, steel, maybe? Not quite. 35. We're at 35. We need 60. So it's going to be a while. It's going to be a little bit of time. Fortunately, I think we still have enough stuff that we can do that. We just need more charcoal in order for that to actually work out. So let me gather up the charcoal. And even with the two burning, it's slow going, ladies and gentlemen. It is slow going. All right, we're going to go down here. We also crafted a couple of chests, and we started the basic infrastructure of our wonderful, wonderful base, which is going to look very, very bizarre to several of you. You'll be like, why do you have wood in here, and do you have stone out there for the walls? All right, so here's how we're, we're planning on making this work. First off, it's going to look really, really ridiculous from this side because we have all that. The floor is going to be the same height all the way across our entire inside. So, despite it being a giant mass of wood right now, it's going to eventually cover all of this, and this is where everything's going to be on this height. Which means we're going to, of course, raise up our walls on the outside a little bit higher. Well, and eventually finish the walls. So this is uh, several thousand wood. I mean, we made several trips. Uh, I made, or sorry, stone. Uh, we made and wood. We made several trips down to the place nearby, and I went to the other place. Didn't do a lot of iron running though, because we actually got a decent amount. But we need wood now, so I'm gonna get some wood. And he's gonna stone. get some stone, so it's gonna work out. And you're probably gonna murder some wolves and things because you're vicious and mean like that. Well, I, I, he's, he's walking around with a whole lot of spears in him, but he ran away. And, uh, yeah, they run away when they get down to the last 10 health for whatever reason. The bears don't. The wolves are like, you know what? 12, 15 spears in me? I think it's a good time to leave. Hey, you know what? Which is on, I suppose. So we're going to be doing a lot of little harvesting things. We're going to be checking up on our wonderful stuff. I don't think we'll be doing any battleation yet until we actually finish up the outside. Since we have the entire surrounded uh, wall thing going on for us, We'll be pretty happy, and then, again, when we have the flooring done, we'll be even more thrilled. We're going to do a double wall thick uh, walls on the outside. Also, what are you doing, man? I'm chopping wood, or uh, uh, stone. Okay, why does it sound like you're chopping martini glasses or something? What the heck was all that? Well, that's when you're, you know, when you're out here in the wilderness, you gotta have a little, a little martini now and then. And then I, I suppose it was shaken, not stirred? Of course. Did you hear me shaking it? I did. I did. I think everybody heard me shaking it. But I tried to look the other way, guys, but I couldn't. <laughs> the reality is what the reality is. It's loud and obnoxious. What? See? His hero is uh, Gilbert Godfrey. So. Oh, yes. Oh, gee whiz. I like his bedtime stories. I think that's perfect. I think you like everything that the guy has ever done. He's your hero, isn't he? You say so. I do say so. I like. I think he's hilarious. I think he should be a um, calm therapist. You know where they try to calm you down. Uh -huh. Stress therapist. There you go. Oh, I, I think it was on College Humor. I saw that he did uh, the uh -oh. Fifty Shades of Grey book. <laughs> the audio reading for it. <laughs> it was hilarious. I, I probably wouldn't recommend most people checking it out, but it was still pretty funny to watch, and or listen to. Disturbing. You will have nightmares. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's definitely like mind altering in a bad way. But what is that? Still hilarious. It's a moose. It's a moose. Is a bullwinkle? 
So that's the only moose yeah. anyone knows. Well, you know, it's not, that's not a moose, that's an elk. Oh, now you're, now you're confused. See, now you belong with, uh, my wife's father. No, he, got, he got me a shot glass. That says a deer moose. hunter on it, but he thought it was a moose. So, yeah. It's a bit weird. What would you be doing with a shot glass? Uh, V8. I like V8. Oh, okay. That's how I yeah. drink it with yeah. my salt. That's what I figured. It's true. It's true. It's the only thing. I don't know why I like it in a shot glass, but I do. I put a little bit of salt in it and I do it, which is ridiculous because everybody's like, It's already so salty. I like salt. I want to be able to go and like stab my finger with a needle and like shoot at least 20 or 30 yards with the blood. That's my goal. High blood pressure? Welcome. Just like characters Wait. welcome on... Yeah, but you're going to have to get some uh, stuff to stop your clotting, too, if you're going to shoot, you know. Oh, no, no, blood doesn't clot that quickly. Well, you get more distance if you do it. That's middle. true. If I thin my blood, I get some aspirin, too, right? But yeah, not like, a whole bottle, like a whole bottle of stuff. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I would die. <laughs> let's let's not come up with ways to kill people, <laughs> shall we? Well, out here, it's, you know, it's very appropriate. Hey, we haven't been attacked by anyone. Since we've been on the server, because we it's very we nuked, nice. We nuked the planet that's still one left with us. That's right. This is a thousand years after the fact, guys. We are back in loincloths. Uh, what's this over here? This ain't anything good, is it? Is that iron? Is that iron? All I get is one little chunk of iron out of this. Did you mine our mines to pieces? There's nothing left. No. I, they haven't. I, they haven't re. Uh, did the what the stone ones did though, didn't they? Yeah, but I thought I grabbed some iron while I was out here too. That's a bit well, weird. Alright, well I'll come take a look. Uh oh, what's that? Uh another wolf. Alright, let me go this way. I missed. I missed the tree I was trying to hit. It's a bit awkward. It's a bit awkward to be sure. Okay, I'll come back to get some more stone since it's not here but wolves and stone. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of what you're out there for, is wolves and stone. I guess I while I'm trolloping down to you, I, I don't know if that's a, a correct Trollop phrasing, me? but we're going to pretend like it is. Um, I'm going to chug some water, because clearly we just run around with like these wineskins that we somehow magically crafted by just being in the water. <clears throat> and yet yeah, we couldn't we do better one. than our loincloths, I don't know. Yeah, we still need to work on that. Yeah, it's gonna happen after our crest, unfortunately. All right, so you missed this stone, but you got most no, of the I others. No, I skipped. I skipped some stones because I was busy. Uh, that's not a good one. We don't really need a tremendously huge amount of iron right now. Okay, I figured while I was out here, I might as well take advantage. I'm gonna go take a look to see if you actually ran into the iron mine, or if you were just hitting like dirt or something. No, it was iron because I got one chunk of iron for every pickaxe hit. So, and you didn't mine this itself yourself. My what? The iron? Well, there's like, only one one per hit, so yeah, why bother? Like, no, like you came over here and you there was no <laughs> giant node. It was just the. No, that was from node. the last time I was there. Oh, that's weird. Did any of the other iron spawn? No, all of them are like that. Really? Yeah. Just a little nub of an iron. Yeah, the stone is respawning. No, no, the other iron mines are all full. I just but... came over here. The other ones are all here. Why are they there when I was... I just came from there. I went to all three of them. There was nothing. The first one was missing. The second, third, and fourth one are all fully there. Well, it was like... Enemies. Well, maybe you just... Because I, when I got there, it was like half halfway up. So maybe that's why. You got there... I got there a little too early. No, because it goes from zero to full. It doesn't go halfway up. Well, I think you're just... You, you've been drinking... You've been putting something in that water that you're drinking. It's those berries. I think they're starting to ferment. I think that might be the case. What if I told you about crushing the berries up and putting it in the water? It's unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. What is that over there? That might be a creature right. coming at me. Well, there we go. How Yay. much stone do you want, by the way? Like 30,000 or more. 30,000? Okay, I'll be out here a while. I think you will be out for quite some time. Let's see here. We eventually do need to kill some sheep off too because we need to get some wool. Some wool. Because wool is fundamental to victory. And also bandages. And eventually a fluffy bed. If you were into that sort of thing. Fluffy bed? Yep. Or a majestic bed. 
it's really dependent upon the person, I suppose, what they want to sleep on. Well, before we get a bed, I want clothes. Clothing, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're definitely having separate beds. Definitely. <laughs> I want clothing. <laughs> Do you don't like the harsh sun and beating down on you as it's constantly noon? You want a sheep? I got sheep around me right now. Oh, really? What are you doing in the uh, pasture with sheep? I'm just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing wolf's clothing? No, I'm wearing sheep's no. clothing. Fool! No! Alright, well, I think that's about it for the iron, unless the other one re ah, respawns. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Keep your naked body away from me. <laughs> Did you freak you out a little bit? I'm like, there shouldn't be anybody near me. Alright, so we got a decent supply of... You heard of... My, my little feet going bloop, 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 right? No, I was too busy chopping things. Okay. And babbling home. Because I figured you thought, there's nobody out here but me, and, you know, you and me. And then all of a sudden somebody's jumping in front of you and said, oh no! I should have killed him. Should have pulled out my weapon that I don't have and just destroyed him. How do you feel about being a tree, a human tree? I don't, see any, to pieces? Um, I don't see any more stone over here. No, there is no more stone. Back the other way. Oh yeah, I'm just going to get some flax while I'm out here. So, where you were just, the way you went up, that's where the iron is. And if you go back to the road, uh -huh. you go the other way. And you I keep went going to the past other one. The, I didn't go this one, I went the other way. And if, it you was... go, if you go the other way and you keep going past the plague village, there's more stone on the other side. There's actually a lot, there's a few different areas over there. Okay, back towards the plague place. That's... All right, so the road that we just came up to go to the iron. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, you remember where you got all the stone down at the bottom of that road? Instead of coming yes. up this way, if you went the other way away from our base, past the plague village, that's where more stone is. I'm not sure I know the plague village is. Well, you follow the road. You go right past the plague village. It's a giant stinky village over there next to the elf. Or the deer, or the stag, or whatever you want to call it. I want to put my auto run on here. Yes, the auto run that I was unaware existed intentionally. I had the game get stuck auto running a couple times, but did not know that was a thing. Apparently, if you hit caps lock, you auto run. It's a horrible button to press, by the way. I think I would probably remap that to Q or something. Q. Q, I say. Okay, there's a village coming up here. This must be the place. Yeah. But you need to be on the side away from the king, and then all the way out. Basically, the way I do things, ladies and gentlemen, I look at the king. It's probably not the way, because the sun actually, you know, rises in the east and sets in the west. Sorry, I'm hearing, like, weird sounds in the background. What's going on, but... Uh, Chaos the ensuing. Alright, so you're nearby the elk. Yeah, yeah. I see Oh, there's some more flax over there. Is yeah. this... Gas around this yeah, place, place is it bad for me? Yeah, don't don't breathe it. I in. want the flax. You can get it. It won't kill you immediately, but it does do damage constantly. Uh oh, something's flying over top of me. It's just a bird. There's no birds of prey or pterodactyl. Little oh, known fact: pterodactyl I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get red. Not good. Like you need to get away from the village if you're red, because you I, might I, die. I went. I ran away. I just want to get those two things of flax and paws there. Alright, this is the road. So this is where you normally get your stone over on my side. Turn around. Oh, there you are. All right. That's where you normally get it, and that's the way back to base. If you follow the road out the other way, there's a lot more stone. So let's go this way. This is one that's still somewhat close. It's still worth it, in my opinion, to get this one. Well, there's some right there, I see it. Yeah, this one is still close. On the other side of the plague village, there's another giant grouping of stone. We'll... We'll double team this stone and get it done. Boy, I tell you what. All right. So once that's done, we will go. We'll get the next room. I got. You I really, got plenty. You really are hideous, by the way. Just, just I think. Figured I'd uh, point that out in case you were wondering. Well, I, I hit the button and then. All right, come. Just to get it done, like random, quickly. Yeah. And I, I said, ah, it's good enough. I think. Look, there's a What's duck. That? Is that a duck? Yeah, we can kill those later. They're always around the lakes. I've always found at least two of them. You don't have room to play with the duck. I know, I just walked over him. I want to see if he was going to leave. He just let me walk over him. No, they're not very fast either when you go to kill them. So you see the little long-fingered individuals over there? 100 health to kill those guys off. Super fun. And very oh, annoying. There they are. Yeah, I've never seen those guys before. I stayed away from all those stuff. Yep. Because right. it would end badly for me. And as you see in front of us, 
You'll, this is also where you can get more flax, as you see to the right and the left. There's, well, mostly to the right. There's actually quite a bit of flax laying around in this field out here. But this is another giant stone node, and if you continue up the road even a little further, there's another grouping. So if you were to do, like, just stone, like, we, we farm this back, oh, I farm most of this side. Splooch stayed back over at the other side, going between iron and wood and stone. But, um, yeah. What the heck was that? Was that a fox? No, it was a it was a rabbit. A rabbit? Is that what that it is? It was a bunny. You can commit to bunny murder if you wanted. Well, let's see. We have about yeah, we about ten minutes left. Let's get this stone, and then we're gonna actually head up to the king's keep because I don't think you've seen that yet yourself. No, I never seen. And that. I don't believe I've actually shown that on the channel. I may have. No. I don't think so though. All right. So you I get... have more bandages. Are you still hurt? I'm kind of hurt, but no, I don't have any bandages left. Here. Oops. You can have my three, I oh, guess. Oh, I know I'm getting hurt. I need to drink some more water. Oh. You, you, I was look, I was doing pretty good, and then I realized I really was you doing can, that good. You can always eat food, too, and yeah. uh, drink to heal up. I'm going to so. take two things, two hits of water, and then I'm going to go and... Uh, All right. Harvest the rest of these uh, two things and continue down the road till you find me. I'll be finishing up the last of the stone, and then we'll go make our way through the flax field. Running like, um, I don't know, weird people that are naked that run through fields. I, I'm not sure what that is exactly, but. Do you feel that you you get thirstier when you're using a pickaxe? No, it doesn't stuff? seem like you overexert. I just, I think you're busy doing things and you're not looking at it as often. Because, you know, you, you usually what happens with me is I'll get low and then I'll go until I'm full. And then I'll do a bunch of stuff and then I'll look and I'm like, okay, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay, and then. You know, because it seems to take down slow, and then I won't look for a while, I'll get busy doing something, and then all of a sudden I'm completely empty again, and I'm like, crap. So, meh. I say meh. There's Oops. also another stone grouping over on the other side of the wheat field, over that way toward the swamp, but I'm not going to go there. I am going to grab the flax, though. Because flax is used in just about everything. And it's, well, it's a pretty important uh, tool in this particular game. Good old uh, Reign of Kings here. Rock. So, I had a lot of issues getting this thing to actually start, ladies and gentlemen. My, uh, my recording software wouldn't record it, and I was just getting really, really frustrated. I couldn't get it to work. I tried like a hundred different things. It wasn't happening. Found out that um, there's a setting in my uh, open broadcaster software, OBS. Come up the road. You're running through the field. I know. I'll be there in a second. Okay, so make sure you're not getting lost. Um, that allows me to still use this while running games that have um, security measures added. So when we last did our first five episodes of this, uh, the game apparently had a lot of hackers and problems and glitches and people just doing stuff that were not kosher or good and well they've added their own security measure which is fine and it doesn't seem to affect anything however it was blocking all video actually coming through on my recording software so after spending about 45 minutes or so digging around trying to figure it out figured it out and it works fine so yay for things working yeah I was just flaxing around back there yeah you were, you were I guess that's better we'll say it that way We'll say it that way. Alright, how much stone do we have? And you're not. You still have room, right? Yep. Okay, I still have room as well. Alright, there we go. And this is the final one, I believe. And then we'll head up to the giant king's keep. And we shall become king! You can become king. Nah, I'll let you be king. I'll, I'll kill I'm you later. I'm too tired to be it. king. I'll kill you later to steal it, it's fine. I'm too tired to be king. Help me. Help me, Rhonda. Wait, what's this thing over here? It's flowers. We don't need them for anything. Oh, I don't have And... Nope. Oh, I think you got it. <laughs> Ow! Did I hit you? Ow, yes! Whoops. You hit me in the head. That was a good shot. See, good thing I wasn't aiming. I'd miss. Alright. To the castle! And you'll also run across a bunch of iron over by where it forks in those two different spots. Hey. Shameful. 
running right past it like you don't even care. No, I was trying to r get it on the run and it didn't work. This is where a lot of people like to build their castles, right out here in the open. It's kind of surrounded by all good things. And it's not that far from the oil fields over that way. Other people will build out by the oil fields, but eh, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do, though, is we're going to build a giant arena out here somewhere at some point. That way we can actually have like tournaments and battles and things when we open up the server to a few more people. And we'll see. Hopefully folks will enjoy it. Not sure they will. Not sure they won't. Don't really know. Alright, you see off to the left over there? Mm -hmm. Those giant turds, those are iron. And then if you go up this forked road over here, it's more iron. And then there should be some closer to the actual castle itself. Yeah, I see three of them right there in the way of the castle. Yeah, look to the left, you'll see more off. Yeah, I see one. three over there. So there's another place to get iron, but the other ones are a lot closer to ours, and generally if you're only by yourself, it's not that bad. Because you can make the full iron circuit and the stone circuit without coming all the way over on this side for the stone. And they usually respawn somewhat quickly. But yeah, if you need flax, you getting a bunch of it, you need to come out to these fields. Otherwise, you're just going to get little bits and pieces. It might be enough to survive, and you can always kill like bears. For whatever reason, bears have a belly full of flax. I don't know why. But when you're harvesting the bear organs and whatever else that is in the bear... Um, you actually get a lot of flax. Same thing with, uh, I think sheep and stuff too, so. Oh, there's some right there. Alright, come to me, Iron Man. One second, I'm flaxing around a little bit. I know, stop flaxing over there and get over here. I'm coming. Alright, what do we have? I have 360 flax. You probably have like 500 by now. I just don't like the view from back here. I don't blame you. That's better when you walk backwards. Yeah, but I'm slower <laughs> as well. Ooh. That's yeah, okay. If you, I'll walk if you line your pickaxe up just perfect, you can't even see none. <laughs> yeah, you see over here there's a few more uh, iron mines. Yeah. We shall make the way there, and Sploot shall become king. Yeah, so when people come and join, then they come looking for me to murder instead of you. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll murder you and steal the Mad kingship later. Time. I can always also just go back up and claim the throne for myself. Don't even have to kill you. Okay, that's much nicer. Alright, so we're almost there, guys. And we're almost out of time with the episode. Should be perfect to be able to become king and be about our business. Oh, wow, that's actually a pretty cool view. I, I remember running out here on my own one time. full Fully decked out because this guy that was... Uh, he was running around. I was, I was naked as I often am. And I had a... I had all the stuff I needed. I had the full armor and everything else, but when I'm running around, I didn't want to use the inventory space, right? So I had my big two-handed <laughs> axe with me, and I was just out harvesting, and then this dude's like, oh, I got leather armor. This guy's an easy kill, and he came out with his weapon and started attacking me, and I murdered him. And then he was all mad. Oh, I hit you a hundred times. No, you didn't. I blocked most of your shots, and I killed you. And then um, he tried to attack me again, I think, or something. I don't know. Anyway, we got into another fight, and I murdered him again. And he's like, it's such bull. There's no way you can do that. And I was just obviously the better man that day. You seem to be running faster than me. That's right. Anyway, um, he became king, and he put the taxes up to like 20% or whatever it was. And I'm like, uh-uh. I'm like, you really need to lower those taxes. And he's like, oh, come and make me. Or he said something. He mouthed off, and I'm like, all right, that's it. So I went and I got fully suited up in my armor and I came down, or I came up this way and, and I caught him as he was coming down and then we had a fight and I of course killed him again and then he's like, oh this is terrible, we're on a private server, this shouldn't be happening, blah 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 blah, you keep griefing me, I quit, I'm going to go back to my other server, all that time wasted, I'm like, what are you talking about man, you can get as far as you were in like a day, I don't know. Oh look, there's some treasure chests in here. I, I don't actually know what's in here. They're locked. I think you have to be the king to do it. Probably get a bunch of different uh, resources from taxes that way. It's just a way in the side or the I other side. I think either side works, but yeah, the side will work better. All right, so you have to get to the throne and then sit on it, and then you have to hold your position for a few, like 20, 30 seconds, something like that, and then you become king. Oops. Oh, and there's a pit with a bear. Don't, <gasps> don't fall down there. There's a pit with a bear down there. I didn't know that. I, I actually haven't looked that much around here, guys. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was there. I mean, I knew there was a pit down there. I just didn't know 
There was a bear in the pit. That's pretty neat. I almost fell in there. And we can totally kill him while he's sitting on the throne. Let's hey. do it. No, I'm kidding. Hey, I'm doing my business. Let me sit on the throne. I know. It looks like you're doing it. All right, so we're going to censor him while he's doing his business there with the axe head. And then don't, look, he does... don't look at me. It's making it hard to go. <laughs> are, you, are you getting pee shy? Come on now. Stop staring at me. I'm looking at my axe handle. Leave me alone. That's what they all say. All right, you should be king any second. All right, come around the back side now. Get off the throne. Press E or whatever it is. Q, Z, something. All right, come around here. And then here are your tools as king. The crown and the sword. Oh, quick Q, okay. Oh, that's right. I, I don't want to set it to Q for auto run. I'll have to set it to, like, B or something. Did he uh, equip them? Okay, hold on. Oh, well, you have a crown, Tab. a loincloth, and a giant sword of death. And let's put the crown over here. And then, did you rename the uh, town or anything like that? No. Uh, the realm? No, it's fine. Oh, I, I just do it like this, right? Yep. And then where's the big sword right there? And I put that... What did I do with that? I put it up in my bar? Uh, yeah. Put it on one of your number keys and then select it. And then... That does Isn't look it? menacing. All would right, you like I a haircut? I do. I, I, hey, I, I would. Let's go run back to the chest real quick and then we'll... Love it. Am I going the right way? Uh, you gotta go down, not up. Ooh! Come where the heck am I going? Come down. Turn around. Come down. down. I just wanna see... Oh, it's a, is this a dead end? It looks like it keeps going up. Anyway, come. Okay, I'm coming um, down. Go, 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 go. Oh, I got a good view up here. That's what it is. What are you doing? Let's see if I can do this without dying. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? Coming down. Oh, okay. Like, you're, you're like not there. You have disappeared. Why? All right. So we'll go take a peek in the chest. I mean, um, you'll have to set taxes up. Actually, do that. Uh, hit tab. I think you can change the taxes there, and I'll chop a tree and get some taxes. Where do I? Should show tax. tax. Oh, tax. Just All tax. Other guilds. 20%. What do you want? I 10%? Just, just 1% or 5 or 1%. something. But it says other guilds, not yours. I did 1%. Alright, hold on. Hold on one sec here. Uh, I'm going to have to get 100 wood. I don't think you're going to get taxes from me. Okay, right, you didn't. Really Alright, hold, my... hold on one sec. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove you from my family. I'm going to banish you. Oh, I see how you are. I become king and you just go banishing me. Remains Stop. part of your family. What? Do I have to uncheck the family thing? Oh no. Huh. You know what's in the chest? What's that? Nothing. Yeah, I think it, I think that's where you gather your taxes that have been uh, that have been selected for you. Every one of them is empty. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had fun. When you next see us, hopefully more of our castle will be built. We'll have our crest down and, I don't know, probably be another episode or so before we actually... Oh, God, Madman's going to kill me. Ah. Um, how do we get out of here? Oh, this way. Um, be another episode or two before we actually let the server open to other folks. Either way, until then... I want to thank you all for joining us. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, he's Splooch, and we will see you later.